Hey everybody, gonna get started on a new project today. We're gonna do a rain catchment system. I'm gonna use one of our old IBC totes, some four x four posts I've got laying around. Uh, and we're gonna make it for the front garden. Uh, I'm gonna try to get enough height on it that we'll have some uh, water weight to be able to pressurize a hose so we could water the gardens in the front. Um, I'll show you what we've got and we'll get started building that. I've got a couple of old totes. Uh, they're 275 gallon totes uh, that we used for our maple syrup collection. So they're food grade, not that I'm gonna use these for drinking water, um, but I also don't wanna put any chemicals in the garden. So food grade IBC tote it is. And then over here, uh, I've got some old four x four posts sitting in in the backyard that are just weathering. So I might as well put them to some use. I'm gonna get these cut to size. We're gonna build a small frame, uh, but solid, because a 275 gallon tote at, what is it, eight, 10 pounds per gallon, uh, is gonna be a lot of weight on top of this stand. So I'm gonna make sure it's built real strong. We'll get started cutting the wood. I'll put it all together and we follow, follow along, see how it goes. Well, I got all my pieces cut to length and I had some of these little plastic feet here left over from another project. So I put those on the four that are gonna be the, the legs. And for the four pieces that are gonna make up the upper frame, I'm gonna make a simple saddle joint on those. That way the joint sits right on top of the leg. It'll just add some strength um, it'll add a little more time to the project, but it's, it's not going to take that long and it's definitely worth it. Uh, I'll show you the joints when I'm done. Not pretty, but functional. This ought to do. Now I just have to do that about a hundred more times and we'll be all set. Okay, here's the basic frame uh, put together. What I used are these little galvanized plates just to hold the, uh, the um, seams together, the joint. Uh, but you can see this is the saddle joint put together um, and the purpose of this is all of the weight is going to be right here on the corner, pressing down. And by putting the joint right on top of this leg, 
I don't have to worry about it splitting out or getting weird. Uh, so the only thing left to do is some cross pieces just to help stabilize this so it doesn't tilt. Uh, once I get that done, I can move it into position and then try to convince Marilyn into carrying um, one of these totes over to the front of the house and lifting it up onto this. Once that's done, uh, a second part of the project is going to be putting gutters in with a downspout that fills the IBC tote. But we'll get we'll get to all that. I'll bring you back as soon as I'm done with the cross members, uh, and then we'll move this into its final resting place. Gutters all sealed up, and now we're ready to move the IBC tote onto the frame. I just need to get the pieces that I need to go from the downspout to the top of the tote and then we're almost done. Well we got it all set. Uh, we ended up putting a UV, a black UV uh, vinyl cover on it. Uh, what that's going to do is it's going to keep the sun out. That way we don't have algae growing in the tank. Uh, and then we covered the whole thing with lattice just to help it blend in with uh, the cabin a little bit more. Uh, we may do some container planting of like peas and have that trellis up the side. Again, just to hide the tank and make it a little less of an eyesore. Around the front, we left this area open so that we can store buckets or hoses or anything we may need. We put a regular tap on the front and I cut a little access out of the lattice so that I can get to the primary shut off and the tap on and off. And then around this side here, I put a bung in the IBC tote at the top and have a pipe running down. That's my overflow. So if the tank gets overfilled, it'll drain out the bottom and then what i'm probably going to do is extend this out to some kind of a catch basin or a french drain that goes out towards the garden but for relatively no cost just a couple of small pieces and some silicone that i needed for the gutter we got this project finished using just some spare wood some spare gutter uh an old ibc tote we still have another tote laying around so we may be doing another one of these projects and this should hold 275 gallons of water collected off of our roof uh, that we can use to water our garden so, so if you like this project and you want to see others like this or if you have any suggestions just leave them down in the comments below uh, if you've ever built a water tank uh, or any kind of a water collection, let us know about it in the comments or leave some links of where we can see your videos. Um, until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy our videos and want to help us out, please like this video and subscribe. If you know someone who would like our videos, make sure to share as this really helps our channel out. Again, thanks and see you soon.